On this 50 point inspection, I have a special from Modelo. Um, so this is imported from Mexico. It says it's a golden full flavored Pilsner style lager with a clean and crisp finish. Uh, this would be considered um, an international pale uh, lager uh, or also an adjunct lager as well. Uh, they do use maize in this. Uh, it says it's best by November of 2022, so it's still within its freshness date. And 4.4% uh, ABV. So let's go ahead and uh, pour this one up and start this inspection. All right, so it's got a white, rocky head on this. Uh, it is clear. It's a nice golden color, straw gold. Uh, plenty of carbonation. The head is just dying right down. Some aromas. Well, from afar, it's a little corny. A little bit sweet. Slight fruity uh, notes on there, I would say. A little bit either grape or apple like and then I mean the uh, the maze is coming through that corniness yeah just a bit of a sweetness all right let's uh, dive in for the first leg here so cheers yeah so it's sweet up front um, does have a bit of a, like a like crackery uh, flavor from the malt a little bit of like a sweet honey we have a slight um, citrus note to uh, a bit fruity Kind of pushing towards like a white grapeish type of flavor. The finish on it, uh, it is very dry. It is a light body beer, by the way. Uh, plenty of carbonation to it, and uh, yeah, just kind of uh, herbal, earthy tone type um, finish. Uh, bitterness. It's definitely got some bitterness to it. It's not uh, not IPA like bitterness, but it's it's noticeable I think for this for this style yeah light body drying to the palate so light it is crisp with the carbonation and refreshing drying easy to drink um, it's a very slight subtle cardboardy type note to this one for me as well but let's go ahead and uh, this one a score. Yo voy a cantar esta canción, yo voy a cantar esta canción para mi gente. Con una pasión, con una pasión tan fuerte. All right, so for 
what this beer is. Can't put this towards like an IPA or something else like that. So for being like a, a lighter adjunct lager um, or an import uh, your international pill lager, uh, I'm going to give this a 5.5 5 out of 6 for the appearance. Uh, the beer itself looks nice, it was just the head, rocky white head. Uh, that just dissipated fairly quickly. I wish that there was a, a longer lasting head on this. Uh, at least something. I mean, there's nothing. It's just gone. So, that's the appearance uh, score. The aromas on this, it's not a lot of malt. I mean, the other coming through would be the maize that's added. So, there is a lot of corniness to it. So, that's definitely there. Um, the hops are kind of playing their part. I think maybe the yeast is um, is also in there, uh, giving off some of those fruity notes, probably. Um, 7 out of 10 for the aromatics. And the flavors, uh, once again, the malts kind of miss I mean, there is a kind of light crackeriness. Um, you are getting that maize, that corn-like flavor to it. Um, it does have that slight cardboard But I have had brews like this that have had more of a, a doughiness to them, which I appreciate. Uh, this one doesn't have that, unfortunately. Um, so malt's lacking a bit. Uh, the hops, I think, are wonderful in this. I think that they are playing a good part. It does have that slight uh, kind of citrus-type flavor in the center a little bit, and then uh, kind of going herbal to earthy. Uh, for kind of a moderate bitterness for the style, I would say. And I think the, the hops are wonderful. The body of beer, I mean, it's a light adjunct lager, pretty much. Uh, it's light and, uh, yeah, drying and crisp and nice, so it's good for that, good for that, for the body. Um, carbonation level, obviously, it's, it's spritzy, it's up there, which works for the style. And uh, the aftertaste, yeah, it's it's all right, it's decent, uh, but I, I do kind of have that lingering cardboard note, and I would prefer to have more of a doughy breadiness uh, coming from some malt presence out of this would be would be nicer. But uh, flavor score total is gonna be 14 out of 19 for the body. Um, oh, I was mentioning the body and the flavor. Was more for the balance. The balance of it's fine. It's it's pretty balanced out. Um, but the body's fine. Five out of five. My overall enjoyability on this one, uh, for what it is, it's not bad. Uh, I have had uh, other beers within this kind of style that uh, I do prefer over this one. But uh, I'm at a six point five out of ten for my overall. Which is going to leave the special uh, from Modelo Cerveza, uh, whatever the heck it is here, uh, with a bumpy 38 out of 50, which will land this as a good beer. Just want to say cheers, and thank you all for watching.